Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we're going to talk about the Analyze tab. And the Analyze tab is extremely unique. I've never seen anything like it in any other trading platforms, but it's really useful. And we're going to talk about how you can use this tab to um, analyze certain potential trades or even current open positions. And the Analyze tab is definitely going to take some getting used to. You're going to have to mess around with it a lot to finally get the hang of it but it can be extremely useful. And hopefully this video kind of speeds up the learning process and helps you um, at least get started using the Analyze tab or at least basic features of it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Trade tab and we're just gonna pull up a trade. Okay, so I have the order pulled up for the Iron Condor and you can of course click Confirm and Send and it will show you the max loss and max profit and everything like that. But what if we want to take it a step further and see some more details about this trade? So all we're going to do is we're going to right click this order and click analyze trade. Okay, so this takes us over to the analyze tab. And the first thing we're going to do before we look at what this is even telling us, we're going to go up to the top right and make sure the date is set for the expiration date. Now this trade is in June, so it expires the third Saturday of June and you can see it also tells us here I like to go to the Saturday you can pick Friday it doesn't really matter but now we have it set up and you can see this funny little chart up at the top now the x-axis is the stock price of TLT and the y-axis is going to be our profit or loss based on where the stock is trading we're focused on the blue line here we're not focused on the purple one the blue one is our profit or loss at the expiration date. Um, the purple one is our profit or loss basically on whatever day we set down here. So we can move this date up and you can see how your P&L would change. For example, we have this set to May 20th and I know this is kind of confusing, but let's move this price slice up and you can see it also under price slices, but all I'm doing is clicking and dragging up to the current stock price of around 129. Now that will show you different things. That will show you what your delta will be. It will show you, of course, gamma, theta, vega. It will also show you your PL open. And this is a cool way to kind of gauge how your PL will move during the trade cycle. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and set this date back to the current date of April 28th and we're just going to ignore the purple line. So let's look at the blue line. This is telling us our profit or loss at the expiration date. Now we see this zero line going horizontally through the middle of the chart. And the way I can best explain this is that the blue line is an iceberg and the zero line is the surface of the water. So anywhere the iceberg is above the water, that's profit. And anywhere the iceberg is below the water, that's where you have a loss. So we're gonna do something real quick that may make this easier for you to see. We have one price slice here at 129.04. And of course we can move that around, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a few price slices to this picture. So we're just gonna go and click this icon and click set slices, break even, and we're gonna click the expiration date. Now you can see we have two price slices on our chart now. We have 134.43 and 123.58. What this is, is our break even at the expiration date. And you can see anywhere in between these two lines is a profit. That's where the blue line is above. And of course, where the blue line flattens off at the top, that's where our max profit is in between our short strikes. So this kind of gives you a cool visual about how the trade will react. And what's even cooler is if there's an option spread that you're not sure how your P&L will react or if you have some open positions that you're not really sure where your break even is, you're not really sure what you want the stock to do, you can check out the Analyze tab to show you this type of information. So let's go ahead and delete this trade down here and we're just going to click the X over here or also we could uncheck it. But we're just going to go ahead and delete it and let's pull up another trade. So instead of going back to the trade tab, which we could do, we're just going to go to the add simulated trades. And we're going to select the June options. 
And let's look at a back ratio spread, for example, which would be where we buy one put and sell two further out of the money puts. So let's just buy the 125 and we're gonna sell two further out of the money puts. And I just held the control key to create that order. You can also click analyze sell trade, sell back ratio, but again, that's covered in a different video. So now that we have this back ratio spread pulled up, let's go back to the risk profile and see how the picture looks. So going back to the risk profile, you can see it looks a lot different than the iron condor. It's not quite as symmetrical because it's not a delta neutral trade. So let's go ahead and reset the price slices to this trade's break even. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go to set slices, break even at expiration. And now you can see this trade only has one break even. Um, and the break even is at 120.88. And I can just hover my cursor and you can look at the, the numbers in the bottom left to see your PL. And again, we're looking at the blue line, not the purple. So you can see anywhere above 120.88, this blue line is above the zero line. And of course, the sweet spot where we make the most money is at 123, where we would make $212. And then, of course, you can see that if we are anywhere above 125, then we just keep the 12 cent credit we received for the trade. And then the potential loss is undefined. Um, so this is an undefined risk trade. So anyways, hope that helps you guys just get started with the Analyze tab. There are a few more features that you can do, but what you want to do is you add simulated trades, or if you want to analyze some of your positions, all you're going to do is come down to the bottom and check whatever positions you want to analyze. And before I end the video, I'm going to show you one more feature of the Analyze tab that can help you guys find your probability of success on a trade. So I talk about probability of success a lot and some of you may not be sure where to find it. Well, a lot of times we can use the option chain to give us this information, but the easiest way is actually to go to the Analyze tab and check it out for ourselves. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go up to the top and make sure probability mode in the money is selected. And then the 68.27% number, we can ignore that. That's just this gray area here. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then of course, we're going to make sure this expiration date is selected at the correct date. Um, that's extremely important. And I just messed it up. I just clicked to um, move the slice. So we're just going to fix that. We're going to click set slices, break even at the expiration. So now you can see this number up top is 90.07%. That is our probability of success if we were to take this trade. And the reason this number is our probability of success is because TLT has a 90% chance of staying above 120.87 at the expiration date. And if it does that, then that means we make money on the trade. So, all right guys, hope that helps. I know this analyzed tab is pretty confusing at first, but I promise the more you play around with it, the more comfortable you will become with using it and also the more valuable it will be to you. You'll realize that it's an extremely valuable tool and you'll probably be using it on a regular basis. So I hope that helps and I will see you guys in the next video.